Hi, in this video lecture, let's try to synthesize a synchronous sequential circuit with D flip lock. The word description of the problem is like this. We have a binary input and in the binary input stream, we are supposed to find three consecutive one bit pattern. Say for example, if the input sequence is like this, we are supposed to find this three consecutive one bit pattern. Here this is one three consecutive bit, bit pattern. This is another three consecutive bit pattern and these three ones together will form another three consecutive one bit pattern. So whenever we find a three bit, three consecutive bits of ones, we are going to output one, otherwise the output is going to be zero. So this is the word description of the problem. From the binary bit stream of inputs, we have to identify three consecutive ones. How to draw the state diagram? When we see this first one or, or even before seeing anything, maybe we can add some zeros here or even without seeing anything, okay, we are in a state that we haven't seen any of the ones so far. So that state we will represent using this S0. S0 is going to represent a state which will indicate no ones is seen so far. Which will be the starting of the first consecutive three ones. And when we see a one in the input, Possibly this could be the first one in the three consecutive ones. So this could be, we are not sure, but we can assume that this could be that one. So we will assume another state, say yes one, which will represent that one one is seen in this input string, which could be the beginning of three consecutive ones. If a zero comes after that, then the rule of three consecutive ones is violated. So we can go back to this S0 and keep waiting for a one to appear, which could be the beginning of three consecutive ones. So when we have a one here, so from S0 we are getting this one so we will go to S1. From S1 if we get another one that means that we have seen two consecutive ones. So S2 will represent a state which will ensure that in the input we have seen two consecutive ones together. Similarly from S2 if we get another one then we can Say we are reaching another state which will represent that we have seen three consecutive ones in the input. So from S0, if we get a 0, we are not bothered about 0. We are worried only about ones. So I can simply stay in the same state and output 0 because we haven't seen three consecutive ones so far. So from Yes, not if we get a 1, possibly this could be the first one in the consecutive three ones. So we will go to S1 yes and output 0 because we haven't seen three consecutive ones so far. From S1, yes if we get a 0, then this one that we have used to reach S1 yes is not the beginning of three consecutive ones. So we will be going back to S0 and keep waiting for another one to appear. From S1, if we get a one, then we know that this is the second one in the input which is in sequence. So we have two consecutive ones and therefore we can reach S2. 
and what will be the output of uh, S1 still it is 0. From S2 we have seen only two consecutive ones. So from S2 if we get a 0 we will go back to S0 the starting state because the consecutive three ones are violated. We have got, we have got 1, 1 and 0. So we will go back to S0 and keep waiting for 3 1s to appear in sequence. And from S1 if we get a 1 then we go to S3 which will represent a state that 3 consecutive 1s are observed in the input sequence. And the output at state 2 is 0. From S3 when we get a 0 that means that we have ensured that 3 consecutive 1s are seen and therefore I can output 1 and we can reach S0 because 3 consecutive 1 is seen and we have to wait for next 3 consecutive sequence of 1s because that sequence is broken by this input 0. And if we get a 1 then we have already seen three ones and then the ones keep on coming like this as a stream. Okay, So then for every one that we have seen the preceding two ones together will form a sequence of three one bits and therefore we will output one and stay in the same state S3. After we have drawn this state diagram now we have to look for the equivalent states in this transition diagram. We have to check whether any two states behavior is the same. Okay, S0 has a self loop. So S1 also goes to S0 for the input 0. And for input 1, S0 goes to S1 and S2, S1 goes to S2. And therefore S1, S0 and S1 are not equivalent. So, similarly, we have to find out whether S0 and S2 is equivalent or not. S2 is going to S0 for the input 0. The same is true with S0 also. It also goes back to S0. But for the input 1, S2 goes to S3 but S0 goes to S1. Therefore, S0 and S2 are not equivalent. And similarly, we can compare this S0 and S3 and find that the operation is different because S0 goes to S1 for the input 1 and S3, from S3, if we get a 1, we will stay in the same state. Now we have to find whether S1 and S2 are equivalent or S1 and S3 are equivalent, S2 and S3 are equivalent and we can find that none of the states are equivalent and therefore we cannot reduce any of the states that we have in this state diagram. The next step is to assign binary bit pattern for each of these states. There are four states in this state diagram. This should be at least equal to some power here. What is the value of n which will hold this relation? So 2 to the power 2 is, so 4 is equal to 4, right? 4 less than or equal to 2 to the power 2. The equal to relation holds, okay? So we will need 2 bits to represent each of the state uniquely. We will assume that we are going to follow binary bit pattern for this state sequence. So we will use 0, 0 to represent state 0, yes, yes, 0. S0. Yes, 1 we will represent using 0, 1. S2 yes, with the binary bit pattern 1, 0. And S3 yes, we will represent using 1, 1. Then we can obtain the binary coded state table. Since there are two bits, we will need two flip flops to store each of the bit in it. Because each flip flop can store only one bit. So we will require two flip flops. We will represent the flip flops as A and B. 
we have already decided that we are going to use the d flip flop now for the input x what will be the next state that we can get it from the state diagram we can write all possible combinations from 0 0 0 to 1 1 1 for the present state and input and for this input and the present state where do we transit we can get it from the state diagram for the state 0 0 which is s naught when the input is 0 we go back to s 0 so the next state is 0 0 what is the output output is 0 it is state dependent output so wherever we have state s 0 the output will be 0 and we are going to give the output as 1 only when we are in state s 3 so only for these uh, input combination 110 and 111 the output is going to be 1 otherwise the output is going to be 0 from S0 when the input is 1 we are going to S1 which is 0 1 so from 0 0 when the input is 1 we will transit to 0 1 which is S1 we can write the entries of the state table from the state diagram like this from s1 when the input is 0 we go to s0 so it is 0 0 when the input is 1 we go to s2 so it is 1 0 the transition is 1 0 and so on when we use the d flip flop for the synthesis we know that the flip flop input equation and the characteristic equation of the d flip flop are one and the same that is whatever input we apply at time t that is what will appear at time t plus 1 as output so we can use this as the function for finding the flip flop input equation for flip flop a and we will use this column for finding the flip flop input for the flip flop b we have to find the flip flop input equation based on these three inputs the previous state a b and the input external input x since there are three variables we will use three variable carnot map for the input for flip flop a there are three ones here so this is m3 0 1 1 is m3 this is m5 0 1 0 and this is m7 1 1 1 so this is given here flip flop input da in terms of the previous state and the input x is 3 5 the sum of min terms 3, 5 and 7 okay and this is the Carnot map this is 3, 5 and 7 we can combine these two ones as one block and we can combine these two ones as another block and we can get the simplified input equation for the flip flop A which is DA so this is BX a is varying and these these two ones together will represent bx and here a is fixed and among these two things x is fixed so this two ones will represent ax and these two ones will represent bx so da is ax or bx similarly the input for the flip flop B we can find from this one this is M1 this combination is M1 this is M5 and this is M7 so M157 min term 157 this is the flip flop input equation for B we have M1, M5, M7 we can combine these two ones and similarly 
these two ones. This represents Ax and this represents B bar X. So this is B bar X. Ax or B bar X. The output Y is 1 only when we are in state S3. Okay, so this is M6 and this is M7. So M6 and M7 represent AB. Using these equations, now we can implement the logic circuit. We have two flip-flops. This is DA. So draw the flip-flop first and label the output as A. And similarly here, the output of this flip-flop is B. And don't forget to use the common clock pulse because this is synchronous sequential circuit. So draw the clock pulse. Now for the input equation for A flip-flop, we have AX of, this is the equation that we have found, okay, AX of BX. This is what we have arrived at. So this is A and this is the external input X. So connect this X and A to and gate we get AX. Similarly we can connect this B and X. So this is X and this is B and we get BX here. Supply these two outputs to R gate we get AX or BX. That's the input of flip-flop A. And flip-flop B we have AX or the flip-flop B input is AX or B bar X. So B bar we can get from the complement. We can get the B bar here and this is X. So this is B bar X. Supply the inputs AX and B bar X to R gate and we get AX or B bar X as the input to flip-flop B and the output is AB. This line is A and this line is B. You can see that and this is going to be AB. This is the output equation. So thus we have synthesized the circuit which will identify three consecutive ones in the input sequence X. And Y will be 1. The output of the circuit will be 1 whenever we have got 3 consecutive 1's in the input X.